Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Rudolph, and today, guys, I'm gonna be dropping the first ever tutorial on how to get all the Playmaker badges, guys. So, I'll be going through the Ankle Baker badge, Pick Roll Maestro, Flashy Passer, and. I got designer from head to my toe. I'm on designer, my bitch on the code. I got Da Vinci all over. I'm us. So, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, first one guys is diamond guys so this is probably the easiest one now all you want to do is just rack up some assists so if y'all can put down your game difficulty to pro and thing with 2k80 now guys is pro is the lowest difficulty you could go to and i honestly think it's not even that bad but it really does put some people to the test and also put the quarter length to 12 minutes so you could maximize your full potential with getting the assists and yeah that's pretty much it you will need these settings for all the other badges as well if you'd like to but honestly you could do it in five minute quarters but you wouldn't do it as quick as 12 minute quarters so yeah let's get straight into it for diamond guys all you need to do is just rack up assists like i said before it ain't really that hard you could just call up a pick and just pass it just as long as you get an assist so that's pretty much it and for Dima, i think it's around 12,000 points that you need for it to unlock to get bronze and then after that you just i think it goes to 24,000. and then after that i'm not sure what it is but you'll have two more stages till you can get a hall of fame it is really easy to get so i would advise to get that one first now next one is ankle breaker guys ankle breaker also is very easy to get guys you could get this easily by just going to practice and doing the one-on-one -on -one full court drill and i find it easy because the defender really is trash at defending and you could just slide your way around him and get the easy points to finish the game before they do so i would highly advise doing that and also guys play some pro-am and just momentum side to side which gives you crazy amount of points to unlock the badge but if y'all don't know how to do the momentum please comment below i will do a dribble tutorial on how to do the momentum with the cam and i'm just here to help y'all out so please 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 shout out if you cannot do the momentum and i'm i'm gonna help y'all out so yeah pretty much for ankle breaker you'll need to go and complete the first 12,000 points to unlock it bronze and then from so on so on and there's three different stages after that if you're a playmaker to get it hall of fame so yeah guys next one is pick and roll maestro now a lot of people know how to do this simple easy you just start up at the top of the key hold on to l1 wait for someone to come and set a screen and you just run your man into the screen you could do it multiple times in one possession so you could be doing probs about like five each possession well that's that's what i normally do but i don't know about you guys but yes you can do five each possession and just let it add up like that and yeah guys this also is twelve thousand points to unlock bronze so i advise y'all to do that in my career or even prime guys like if y'all are a, a small and you're running with a big just get the big to come up put that screen on your man and just run your man through it multiple times multiple times and chuck it back down to the big for the roll which is simple and easy guys now for flashy passer flashy passer guys not much to explain about this you could just be at the top of the key and double tap circle multiple times and what i did with 2k17 is i just stay at the top of the key and just spam circle the whole possession and then when the clock is about to go out i just pass it to someone and get the simple assist so i also could work on the dimer as well so it's pretty much hitting two birds with one stone with flashy passer and yeah that's pretty much it for flashy passer like i mean it's easy as hell to do and i really do think i really don't see the point in it it's really useless but yeah now for the last one guys for me, I honestly think this is the hardest one to do because my ball control, no, not my ball control, my passing and my vision 
is only 76 because my build is a slashing playmaker now if you were a pure playmaker or a pure point forward whatever y'all would notice that you'd have a you definitely have a higher vision and ball passing rate but y'all need a very high y'all would need really high playmaking stats to be able to hit make it hit the money every time with the lob because i tried doing it in a game and as you can see in the gameplay my teammate grade was disgusting because i tried doing it for probably seven straight possessions and i'd get a turnover every single time because the ai's just read me so well and they just they just catch it out of nowhere even when i don't notice it and the ai's are just real good at defending this shit and it's pissing me off because i just want to get my badges like honestly and but yeah guys just remember I reckon Lob City Passer is probs the hardest badge to get. So do not be pissed off if you're struggling with it too because I myself is struggling with it and it really does piss me off. But gotta stay with it guys. So that's pretty much all for today's video guys. If y'all did enjoy, please, please, please leave a like. Show some support man. We on that grind man. 2K18 just came out and I'm about to be dropping three videos in one day for you guys. So please show your best to show some love and support. So I know that y'all enjoy the content that I'm producing. But apart from that, it's been your boy Rudolph man. Signing out. Peace. What? Hey, hey, okay. Cool. Naruto, Nine Tail, Fox, so Fox. I feel like a Gucci ad lib. Burr. Go to the Coca Cola mascot, Polo Burr. Put my sauce on lasagna, it can make Garfield burr. I ain't really.